Alright, in this video we'll be doing a C, we'll be doing a C sharp uh, tutorial on 2D arrays. So in this array, uh, I've set up, uh, sorry, in this uh, tutorial I've set up a form. So we have uh, two labels here, which with no identifiers. Then there's a text box here called row text box. And then a text box below named call text box. And then to the right we have a label called price label. And then below we have a button called display button. So let's set up the uh, button click event. So the identifier for the button is called display button. So we'll just reference that, uh, actually we'll reference that in the constructor. So we'll say display button. Actually here we can just say, so display button dot click plus equals new event handler. And we'll pass in as a parameter display button underscore click. And below the constructor, we'll create a private void. Uh, so we'll create a event handler. So we'll define it as private void display button underscore click, and it'll take parameter uh, object sender and event args e. So we'll have two local variables, a uh, row and a column. So we'll say int row and call. And we'll say uh, constant int, so constant int max underscore row points to, uh, we could just say, for example, uh, we could just say two, and here we can say constant int max underscore uh, call. It's pointed to two as well. So we'll use an we'll use an initialization list to instantiate a two D array. So a local two D array. So we'll have a decimal type array. So we'll say decimal of array index comma. We'll call it prices points to. Uh, so we'll have an initialization list for a two D array. So here we'll say, we'll just add some values here. Uh, so we'll have, for example, I think it's like, it's supposed to be a plane. So it's like a, like the seating of a plane. So it's cheaper at the back and more expensive at the front. So then for example, we could just have, uh, we'll just add some values here. So remember to add the M for a decimal value. So we'll just add some values to the first row. Then we'll have another row here. So we'll just, uh, so we'll have Actually, sorry, how many, we got two, in, uh, well, we could do a bit more. Uh, actually, so let's just, let's just stick with that for now. Okay, let's just, let's just change this to five and this to three. I don't think we're using this yet, but we'll just continue. So we'll just uh, have some more values here. Oops, sorry. I forgot the M for, for the, the first row. So their decimal value, so we'll have, uh, we'll tag on N to it, uh, M. So here we'll have three, so comma, and then we'll say 375, M, comma, 375, comma, and then 375, M. Then we'll have a comma and then another, uh, another row. So 
so we'll just fill these with uh, three seven. We'll just go three seven five for pretty much the the rest. So we'll have another. So this is the third row down. We'll have about uh, about uh, six of them. To three seven five and then three seven five M and then three seven five. And then for the for the last two, actually, we'll just change this to 350. So 350 m, and then 350 m, comma 350 m, comma 350 m. And then for the final row, we'll just have here, uh, for example, like 300 m, comma 300 m, 300 m, and then three for the last one, 300 m. So there's no comma on the last uh, row. You have to put a semicolon at the end of the initialization list. So we're going to use a try parse method now. So remember that you have to use the keyword out. Uh, so here we'll we'll have an if an if block. So we'll say if uh, int dot try parse. We'll pass in row text box dot text comma out row. So if so, we're going to try to pass the row text box dot text. So we're going to pass a string as an int. So it should pass. So if it passes correctly, it should store a value in row. Otherwise, I think rows negative is going to equal to negative one. But also, I believe that it returns uh, it returns a boolean, so it's it's a kind of a tricky method. So we'll, we'll have a nest. So for the next, this is going to be there's going to be a few nests here. Actually, sorry, this isn't a nest. We're just going to check if uh, just basically it's just nested if a nested if not a nested uh, loop. So we'll do the same thing. So here we'll say if int uh, try parse. And we'll pass in call text box dot text, and then we'll say comma, and then the second. So for the first parameter, we'll say call text box dot text, and then comma out, and then call. And if that's true, then we'll say if row is greater than or equal to zero and row is less than or equal to max row so this one here this this if up here gets the selected row number this if block here gets the selected column number then the next uh, if block. Make sure the row is in is within range. Then in this, uh, so this one checks if it's in within range of the rows. Then if that's true, then we'll nest and check if the the columns are within range. So if call is greater than or equal to zero and call is less than or equal to max underscore call. Then here we'll set the label. So we'll say price label text points to prices of array index row comma call dot to string. And we'll have a formatter we'll pass in C. And then here we'll have to do a bunch of else blocks just in case they they aren't true. So here we'll have an else block here for the most inner nest, nested if. So we'll have an else here. So here we'll say message box dot show. We'll pass a string here. Columns must be zero through 
uh, uh, we'll end the string and then plus and we'll add the value max call. Then we'll get out of that else and then go to the, we'll go to this if here. Below the if, we'll have another block here, an else block. So here we'll say message box dot show and then we'll say row must be zero through uh, so the strings the row must be zero through plus and then here we'll pass in max underscore row so under that we'll have uh, So below the last, sorry, below the, yeah, so the most inner, sorry, the most outer uh, if will have an else block underneath. So we'll say else message box dot show. So we'll say enter an integer f uh, for the row as a string. Okay, so what's happening here? So we have, so remember this button, click event handler is going to listen for a click event. So when a click event occurs, it's going to respond to it. It's going to define two variables here, a local row and a local call. So it's max row to five, max call to three. Init, uh, initialize, initializes a 2D array set to a bunch of values. So if uh, so, it's going to check here. It's going to try to pass the uh, the row text box. So remember when you click the event uh, to have some data. So there's let me just show you the the form here. So I didn't I didn't label these for some. I'll just change the names. I forgot to change the names for these. So this label will change it to enter row. We'll change the text property to enter a row. Then for this text property, we'll change it to enter a call. And for this one, uh, 